Tonight, state health leaders are reacting to the surge in COVID-19 cases as nearly 1,900 new cases are reported, the highest one-day total since the end of January. Hospitalization numbers also on the rise. As of yesterday, 653 COVID-19 patients are hospitalized, 199 are in intensive care, 82 are on ventilators. All three numbers show a steady increase since the start of the month. Vaccination totals, more than 1,026,000 Mississippians are now fully vaccinated. Still, that's just 32% of the population. So far this week, nearly 7,400 vaccine doses have been given. All these numbers have the state health department recommending that everyone wear masks indoors in public, vaccinated or not. 12 News Tao Ta just heard from the state medical director. Tao? The well, new measures will only take effect tomorrow among the health care system. A new order requires all Mississippi licensed hospitals to participate in the COVID-19 system of care plan. Dead from COVID-19 has health care systems taking matters into their own hands, mandating participation in the COVID-19 system of care for all licensed hospitals. It's important to remember that although uh, most times these individuals who become infected have minimal to um, mild symptoms and recover. There are deaths that do occur in individuals under the age of 18. It's the fourth death of a child since the pandemic. I think that this phase of the pandemic, this Delta surge is gonna be more challenging than any before from the hospital resource perspective. We're seeing the most rapid increase in cases and hospitalizations. It's coming on the time when we have a lot of other medical issues that are going on with folks, and we have a um, shortage of staff, specifically nurses. The most recent died from a common underlying health condition. We think that everyone should ha and mask indoors, um, and that's our guidance, and we'll try to promote that because that's the safest way for our kids not only not to catch COVID, but to stay in the classroom and to have a successful um, healthy school year as we're negotiating COVID. I'm not saying this is gonna be something that lasts throughout the whole school year, but right now, with the highly contagious Delta circulating and the vast majority of kids non-immune, it's a perfect recipe for transmission in the schools. Long-term care facilities are among those also hit hard by the Delta variant. Over 100 long-term care outbreaks, 72 of those in nursing homes. Now, the primary driver are infections in unvaccinated staff and employees in those long-term care facilities and nursing homes. Byron.